Vicky. Welcome, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Let's begin with this class. Number 11. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much for joining the class. It's nice to have you all. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We're going to have class number 11, questions with how. This is pre-intermediate English module number three, and this is class number 11, like El Magico, right? Yeah, that's the number that we have for today. So that means it's going to be an amazing class. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope all of you are ready to learn something new today. Thank you so much. We have a few of you already here. Thank you so much for being punctual on this one. We have Janice. Hello, Janice. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Questions with how? That's going to be the topic for today. Piece of cake. Let's begin. We're going to have very surprising facts. Okay. Let's take a look of this one. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to have... Hello, Sandra. Can you participate, Sandra Noemi Pimentel? Yes, teacher. Please, do me a favor and read the information here. Okay. Uh, a surprise fact. Uh, one, the hardest place in the world is deep violent California to the has which uh one twenty four fires and fifty six uh pounds seven uh, I don't know if Celsius. Celsius. Uh, number two, Antarctica uh, is, is the longest desert of the Earth. It is a uh, five five pounds four million square miles. Uh, forty million square kilometers. kilometers. It is also the coldest with a continent free uh, and the uh, is in the world yes most watch tv show over uh, 50 million people yes. across in the world have watched what you read it that is uh, for the largest 10 in the world is the Hildorian Tigers at uh, seven ten uh, pounds and three three twenty kilos. It is uh, bigger than uh, a Leon. By French is the most popular country to visit. It was that gets over 80 million visit visitors uh, in June. Uh, six, the highest price for a car at an factory was used over uh, 38 million for a uh, uh, 1962 foreign in the actual happened in 2024 uh, seven the best selling most music album of all time is the Ma michael jackson uh to thriller the uh, 1982 album has sold around uh, 65 million copies a the planet is our, our solar system with the most moons uh, 67 solar in Jupiter the 
longest one getting getting by with a neat longest object in the solar system. Uh, which fact do you think so Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good. Sandra, that's beautiful. Very good. Great job. Okay, so here we have a surprising facts, right? We have different facts about different stuff. Okay. Uh, which facts do you find surprising for you? Something that cause, like caught your attention in here, right? Let's begin with, uh, let me see. Um... I don't know, volunteers uh, with the first one. Which facts do you do you find surprising and why? Anybody? The Anybody? highest price for a card in an action. Oh, yeah, for right. 38 million, it's, it's a lot of money. Too much. It's too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of pupusas we can buy with that money, right? <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. I'm agreed to pay 10000 but not, <laughs> not more. <laughs> yeah, like 38 million. That's a bunch of money. Very good. Thank you so much. What are some facts about your country? Ah, oh, look at this one, right? What is something that's surprising, like here in El Salvador, that like uh we can tell oh listen here in El Salvador this thing is is something huge right yes for example also what's the tallest building that we have here in El Salvador do you know who's that what's that one do you know what's the tallest building here in El Salvador what is the what is the most popular city like here in El Salvador San Salvador. Well, and San Sa so the Cuscatlan Cusca Tower is the, oh. the tallest uh, building. Yes, I guess so. I guess so. What about the one, this one that we have for uh, next to Galleria? The Millennium Plaza. Uh, yeah, the Millennium Plaza is, is not tall enough to compete with the Cuscatlan Tower. Yeah. Because and Towers, like, somehow all, right? Yeah. 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 What is, what is another thing that we have here in El Salvador that is, you know, that is quite interesting? The Christmas tree in El Salvador del Mundo. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, like, uh, is there a setup already? Like, mm. like if, if the tree already, like, I mean, with the lights and everything? No, not yet, right? I'm not sure. No, I guess. Because yeah. they used to play, like, there was a company which name, I think, was San Martin. They used to, like, yes. um, you know, uh, pay for everything. And they, like, were the ones that were, like, I don't know, providing this, this tree, right? This big tree. Uh, but it's it's very crowded nowadays in El Salvador everywhere, right? Yes. Even yes. even like when you go for Las Tortillas, it's very crowded. <laughs> yeah. So I had to yes. wait like like a half an hour for Las Tortillas. So it's, yeah, that's that's not good. You need to take a number. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, you need to take a number and wait for Las Tortillas. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Let me see. Okay. We're gonna have this dialo in here, right? That's freezing. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's begin with Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. Welcome. Can Hello. You can you participate? Yes. Okay. Uh, tell me, describe the picture. What do you see here? What is this place? Uh, it's called Aurora. Oh, yeah, yes. that is correct, right? Is this like Chalatenango? El Pital, maybe? Blanca, what uh -huh. do you think? Uh, 
What do you Perdón, see in the picture? Un... What else do you see in the picture? I see um, trees. Pinos. Oh, you see trees. Like I see trees in. Yeah, very good. Is that like in like, uh, what's the, what's, what's um, sorry, I got stuck on that one. Which part of the day is this? Is this one in the picture? Blank. Um, I don't know. Is that no sé, no sé cómo se dice cabañas. No, no sé qué es. Oh, how do you say cabañas in English? Anybody help her, please? Thank you. Um, how do you say cabañas in English? I'm not sure, but I think there's a cabin. Maybe it's hot. Okay, usually we call them cabins, right? Yeah. That's the way we usually call it. It's like a cabin, right? It's like a small, it says house that we can find, right? In a forest, it's a cabin. Very good. And, and uh, um, when is this teacher. happening? Is this happening in summer? Teacher, 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 teacher. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, wooden cabins. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Also wooden, wooden cabins. That's correct, Freddy. That's right. Cabaña de madera. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A wooden cabin. Yeah, we have those as well. Yeah. So, uh, Blanca, tell me, what else? Um. In which season do we have this kind of, oh, I don't know, weather? Blanca. What's the season? Winter, summer, spring, autumn? By the way, do you hear, do you hear a, door, a dog barking? Like in the background, like is there is a dog barking? No. No. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting crazy. Yeah, yeah, wooden cabins. Very good, Freddy. Thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna have this conversation as you may see on the screen. We have Alberto and Lily. Okay, that's raising. That's the title of this conversation. Yeah. So we are going to work on this one. I will play the audio so you listen and read the conversation. Okay. So be ready. Here we go. Page 95. Exercise 9. Conversation. That's freezing. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Lily. You are from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. Actually, I'm from the U.S., but I went to school in Toronto. Winter there can be pretty cold. How cold is it on average? Um, I think the average in January is around 20 degrees or maybe 25 degrees. 25 degrees? But that's warm. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about minus 3 or 4 Celsius. Minus three or four? That's freezing. Oh, come on. That's not so cold. At least not where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That's, uh, let me check on my phone. Yes, that's about 4,800 kilometers. Wow. So is it colder than Toronto? It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Page 95. Exercise 9. Conversation. That's freezing. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Lily. You're from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. 
Actually, I'm from the U.S., but I went to school in Toronto. Winter there can be pretty cold. How cold is it on average? Um, I think the average in January is around 20 degrees or maybe 25 degrees. 25 degrees? But that's warm. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about minus three or four Celsius. Minus three or four? That's freezing. Oh, come on. That's not so cold. At least not where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That's, uh, let me check on my phone. Yes, that's about 4,800 kilometers. Wow. So is it colder than Toronto? It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Okay, let's begin with some questions. Um, Maria Vilma Cortez. Hello, Maria Vilma. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Where is this conversation taking place? Where is happening this conversation? Maria Vilma. Um, the different... Okay, I mean, where is this conversation taking place? In El Salvador? In Guatemala? Sorry, teacher. Where is this conversation happening? Where is this conversation happening? Yes, donde sucede this conversation? Where this conversation takes place? Where? Um, in Alaska? No, I'm oh. sorry. Oh. I mean, where are Alberto and Lily? Where are? Ah, are they? In, in Canada. Very good, Maria Vilma. Very good. So this conversation is happening in Canada. In Canada. And what is the city? What is the city in Canada, Maria Vilma? In Toronto. Beautiful. Toronto, right? Very good. Great pronunciation as well. Toronto, right? Very good. Thank you, Maria Vilma. Great job. Freddy. Thank you so much. Yesterday, well, this Ooh. week, I think we were working with comparison, right? Comparing cities. Okay. Uh, what is the other city that this person is comparing here in this conversation, Freddy? Uh, the other city, city uh, is Alaska. Okay. Fairbanks. Fairbanks, Alaska. Exactly. Very good. Right. So uh, what is the comparative sentence that we have between these two? Uh, the distance and okay. the, the, the degree. Okay. So can you make a sentence between these two cities? Mm -hmm. Freddy, make a sentence uh, between these two cities, between uh, Toronto and in uh, uh, Fairbanks? Yes. Um, um, in Canada, um, the, the, the temperature in January is around 20 uh, degrees. That's correct. Or maybe 25 degrees. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Very good, Freddy. Thank you so much. We will help you just to improve that that answer on this question. Tiffany, do you want to say something? Do you want to say something, Tiffany? Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez? No? Because, okay. Okay. Uh, let's work with Claudia. Can you please help Freddy? Can you make a comparison? 
sentence uh, between Toronto and Fairbanks. So call this, okay. And then the distance, okay. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize, Claudia, but I'm having a hard time hearing you. I don't know what's happening, probably that soon, but I couldn't hear you very well. So I, I apologize on that one, okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna switch to somebody else because I couldn't I couldn't hear you. Yes, I can't. I can't hear you now. Yes, I'm I'm sorry, okay? So please forgive me. Forgive me on that one, okay? I'm sorry. Um let me see. Oh what else? Okay. Uh Christian, hello Christian. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, teacher. It's nice to have you. Tell me, what is the coldest city in the United States? What's the coldest city in the United States? What's the coldest city? What is the coldest city in the United States? Marcos, can you help him? Alaska, teacher. Oh, yeah. Fairbanks, Alaska. Very good. That is correct, right? Remember that Alaska belongs to the United States. So um, it's, it's like the coldest based on this information. Thank you so much. Do you have any question about vocabulary or phrases that you see here in this um, conversation? Everything is good? Yes? Okay, we have so a uh, degree. Yes. Don't forget this one, but we have this little thing here. We have a degree, right? Uh, Fahrenheit, here we have Celsius, right? Minus, uh, what else? Miles, okay, miles. 3,000, 4,800 kilometers. Okay, Doug, I'm gonna open the breaker rooms. Do me a favor, I'm sorry, I forgot. Save the conversation, just wait a minute so we can have it full. Give me a minute so we can have it full, yes. Okay, save the conversation, please. And also, please, somebody send this uh, picture on WhatsApp group so your classmates also can have it. We are going to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. What I need you to do is go ahead and practice with your partners, right? Don't be afraid to make mistakes on this one. Yes, just keep learning all this thing. Let me um open the breakout rooms. Okay, here we go. Okay. In the main room, Blanqui Solina, Claudia Yesenia, Jose Alcides Leiva, Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado, and Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa, you five stay here in the main room, okay? So don't join. Blanqui Solina Guzman, Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames, Jose Alcides, and Jocelyn Tatiana, and Jenny Lisbeth. The rest of you, do me a favor and please join your classmates so you can practice this conversation Yes, don't forget about mistakes. Yes, keep learning and keep practicing on this one, right? So you can improve little by little. Yes, you have the conversation on WhatsApp group. Your class may send it already, which is wonderful. But the rest of you, please join your breakout rooms so you can practice with your classmates. Yes, uh, okie dokie, yes. Well, very good. Okay, Janessi, please join. Uh, also, uh, Juan Jose, also Jose Mauricio, please join your breakout room. It's going to be number five. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, for the rest of you, please stay here and let's practice. Yes, 
Uh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I did a mistake on this one. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we have the conversation. Uh, let me, it's loading. Okay. Claudia, let me see if I hear you now. No, I'm still having a problem with your audio. I don't know why. I think the rest of your classmates, they hear you, but I am not hearing your voice. I'm sorry. Jose Mauricio Martinez? No. Okay. Jocelyn Tatiana? Hello, Jocelyn. Yes, teacher. Do you hear Claudia? Hello. Jocelyn, do you hear Claudia? Yes. Jocelyn, do you hear? Do you hear Claudia? Yes. Okay, perfect. So Alberto, that is you, Claudia. Jocelyn, you are uh, Lily. Okay. Ready? Let's begin. Actually, I'm from the USA, in USA, but I went to a school in Toronto. Toronto. Winter here became a pretty cold. Um, I think the average, average in January is around 20 or maybe 25. Twenty five degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's about minus um, three or four Celsius. Celsius. Oh, come on, that's not so cool. At least not where I'm from. Well, I live in Firebox, Alaska, around um, 3,000 miles from Toronto. Toronto. That's, let me check on my phone. Yes, that's about uh, 4,000 and 18 in yes, kilometers. Yeah. It's much colder than, than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. Thank you so much uh, for practicing on this one. We are going to have Juan Jose. Can you participate, Juan Jose? Juan Jose, can you participate? Yes or no? Elisa, can you participate, Elisa? Sí. Yes. Wonderful. Elisa, you are Alberto, okay? Okay. Um. Let me see who else is here. Jose Alcides, can you participate? Yes, I do. That's wonderful. Lily, that's you. Ready? Let's begin. Hi, Lily. You're from Canada, right? I am going to Toronto in January. Actually, I'm from the U.S., but I went to a school in Toronto. Winter chair can be very cold. Who cold? It is on... No sé cómo se pronuncia esto. Average. Average? Average. Um. I think the average in January 
is around 20 degrees or maybe 25 degrees. Um, 25. Eh, casi no miro. <laughs> Eh, 25 degrees. Perdón. 25 degrees. Ah, oh, gracias. Mm -hmm. 25 degrees. About does warm. Warm. Mm -hmm. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's about minus 3 or 4 Celsius. Uh, minimum three or four. Uh, that freezing, freezing, freezing. Oh, come on. That's not so cool. Unless not where I'm from. Uh, Really, where are you from? Oh. Well, I live in Great Banks, Alaska, around three, 3,000 miles from Toronto. That, let me check on my phone, just yes, that about 4,000, a hundred. Wow, so, so is it colder than Toron? Toron? It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Very good. Thank you so much. So this conversation is quite long, right? We have a lot of let's say uh difficulties also we have some um temperature numbers here so like big numbers like three thousand and four oh jesus yes four thousand eight hundred in here as well so it's quite it's quite difficult this conversation i will need to take the attendance so then we can i can hear a few of you uh participating on this one um don't forget and i'm sorry for this and it's Spanish. Um, no se les olvide a uh, lo de los ejercicios en la plataforma. Sí, um, please realizarlos. Eh, igual ir avanzando en los pues que no hemos visto, por ejemplo, los de la próxima semana, pues tenerlos listos, right, o finalizarlos. Si tienen algún inconveniente with uh, algún ejercicio o algo, eh, pueden pues escribir ahí al grupo. El sí los felicito porque pues sí me gusta que se colaboran, right, en some aspects over there, which is which is good. Y pues si en el caso no se pueda, pues me escriben a mí con gusto. Uh, yo a veces les contesto. Ok, but um, let's begin. Attendance list. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Blanqui Solina Guzmán Cruz. I'm here. Welcome. Nice to have you. Briseida Janet García de Crespin. Hello, Briseida. Let me see. I, thought, I think I saw Briseida. Yes, yeah, she's here, but she doesn't answer. Uh, Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Cindy. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. Thank you so much for being here, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Daniela, are you here? I think I saw Daniela. I remember that I saw her. Dan yes. In the chat, teacher. Present in the chat. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. That's You're wonderful. right. Thank you. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present. Teacher. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Good evening. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Hi, teacher. Nice to have you. Eliana Mariel Alvarado Mengíbar. Present teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. 
Present. Thank you and welcome. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present, teacher. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. I think I saw Jose Alcides. Yeah, he was, he was participating. Yes. Jose, oh no, he isn't. Oh yes, Jose Alcides. Thank you, Jose. It's nice to have you. Good evening. Um, Jose Mauricio Martinez Sarabia. Present. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present. Nice to have you, Jocelyn. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Thank you, Juan. Welcome. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present, teacher. Nice to have you and welcome. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Hello and present. Nice to have you, Liz. Welcome, Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much, Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present. Thank you, Milena de Los Ángeles Aragón Peites. Hello, Milena. I think. Um, no, right. Mirna del Carmen Rano Reyes. Hello, Mirna. Are you here? I think I saw Mirna. Okay. All right. Milena, no. Mirna. Teacher, eh, me levanté un momento, pero no sé si me mencionó. Oh, yes, Christian. Thank you. So oh, I'm sorry. Jose Alcides. I'm sorry. Sí. Yes, Jose okay. Alcides. I got you here. No problem. Thanks. Thank you so much. Welcome. Eh, Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. I think I saw Ronald. No, no. Okay. Excuse me. No, Ronald, he isn't right. No, he is. Uh, Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Melendez. Mendez, I'm sorry. Present. I'm sorry. I miss. No problem. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Oh, Jenny, thank you so much for being here. It's nice to have you. Carlos, are you here, Carlos? Carlos, where is Carlos? Carlos, are you here? Let me check. Hello, Sandra, tell me. Oh, thank you. I got you. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you so much and welcome. Good evening. Okay. Okay, here we go. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó también. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry about it. Uh, excuse me. That was, uh, what's your name? I'm sorry. Christian. Uh -huh, Christian. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Christian, Christian David Galicia. Yes, I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, Christian David okay, Galicia. Well, Thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah. Good evening. And I apologize, okay? Okay, I apologize on that one. Teacher, me too. Kevin, Eduardo. Yes. Oh, jeez. I don't know what's happening with me today because I'm missing all. Yeah, Kevin, Eduardo, Flores, Sanchez, right? Of course. Perfect. Sorry about it. Okay. We're going to have Jose, Mauricio. You're going to be Alberto. Thank you. Your Thank partner you. is going to be, let me see, Freddy. Please, Freddy, you are Lily. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Hi, Lily. We're from Canada, right? I'm going to Dorado in January. I think Freddy was out for a moment. Fre Freddy? Yeah. Do you hear me, Freddy? <clears throat> no, I think he has a problem with his audio because he doesn't hear me. He is a teacher. Yes, I'm sorry. Do you hear Freddy? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, That's I'm true. sorry. Mm -hmm. My mistake. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Freddy, you're going to be Lily. Oh, also, Jose Mauricio, when you mention, you need to use use his name, okay? Use? Uh, name. Uh, Freddy, yeah. Freddy. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> okay. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Freddy, you are from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. 
Actually, I am from the US, but I went to school in Toronto. Winter there can be pretty cold. How cold is it on average? Mm, I think the average in January is around 20 degrees or maybe 25 degrees. 25 degrees? But that's warm. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about minus three or four Celsius. Minus three or four? That's freezing. Oh, come on. That's not so cold. At least not where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That's, uh, let me check on my phone. And yes, that's about 4,800 kilometers. Wow. So is it colder than Toronto? It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Very good, the two of you. Very good, Freddie. Right? We have a few mistakes, Freddie. It's like miles, right? Uh, miles. <laughs> Minus, yeah. Kilometers. Miles. Okay. Uh, very good. Yeah, the rest is good. Thank you. Luis, Alberto, can you participate? Yes, of course. The problem. Perfect. You're going to be this one, like, yes. Okay. <laughs> Alberto, okay. Sorry about it. Christian, you're yes. going to be Lily. Don't forget to use your names, okay? Ready? Here we go. Hi, Lily. You're from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. Este teacher oí que me mencionó, ¿no? Yes, you are Lily, Christian. Surely, I am from the EU, but I went to a school in, in Toronto. Where there can be pretty cool. How cold is it on average? I uh, I think January is January is around twenty or maybe twenty five. Twenty five degrees, but that's that's warm. Twenty five degrees. Degrees, degrees Fahrenheit. This that a lot. Minus, minus three or three or four Celsius. Minus three or four? That's freezing. Oh, oh, come on. That's not so cool at the last night where I am from. Really? Where are you from? The same. Well, I, li well, I live in Philippines. Way back, Alaska are 3,000 miles from Toronto. Dance, let me check on my phone. Just that, about 4,800 kilometers. Wow, so is it colder than Toronto? It's much colder. That's Toronto is the coldest city in the unit state. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. We have a few mistakes, uh, Christian, on pronunciation, and you're doing it very good. Yes, because pronunciation uh, for you is, is is quite is quite good. So with practice, you can improve that one, right? So keep practicing, right? And um, and don't be afraid to make mistakes, right? Don't 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 be afraid to make mistakes. That's the way you're doing it. And I love it. Keep working like that. Okay. We're gonna have, let me see. Um Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Can you participate? Hello, teacher. Thank you. You're gonna be Alberto. Liliana. Hello, Liliana. Can you participate? Yes, teacher. Sure, you're gonna be Lily. Ready? Let's begin. Hi, Lily. You're from Canada, right? I go to Toronto in Jan January. Actually, I am from the US, but I went to school in Toronto. When there, there can be pretty cold. How cold is it on average? 
on I think the average in January is around 20 degrees or maybe 25 degrees. 25 degrees, but that warm? 25 degrees Fahrenheit, that's about minus 3 or 4 Celsius. Minus 3 or 4, that freezing, freezing. Oh, come, come on, that's not so cold, at least not where I am from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That let me check on my phone. Yes, that about 4,800 kilometers. Wow, so is it colder than Toronto? It's much colder than Toronto. It's a colder city in the United States. United States. Very good. Thank you so much. Page nine. Very good. We're going to have the rest of the conversation. Is Fairbanks a small town? What else does Lily say about it? Let's listen and then answer. Page 95. Exercise 9. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Is Fairbanks a small town? What else does Lily say about it? Tell me a little more about Fairbanks, Lily. Well, it's one of the biggest cities in Alaska. We have a large university, the University of Alaska Fairbanks. And the people there love ice hockey. I can imagine. What other winter sports are there? Well. There's good skiing in Fairbanks. Lots of people go there to ski. Cool. I really like skiing. And in the summer, there's the famous Midnight Sun baseball game. In June, it's still sunny at midnight. Wow. Sun at midnight? That sounds amazing. Yeah, it is. Also, you should definitely try to see the northern lights between August and April. I'd love to do that. That sounds so beautiful. So, that's Fairbanks. But don't forget the low temperatures. You know, Fairbanks sounds perfect. I think I should spend a month there. Well, maybe not in January. Page 95. Exercise 9. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Is Fairbanks a small town? What else does Lily say about it? Tell me a little more about Fairbanks, Lily. Well, it's one of the biggest cities in Alaska. We have a large university, the University of Alaska Fairbanks. And the people there love ice hockey. I can imagine. What other winter sports are there? Well. There's good skiing in Fairbanks. Lots of people go there to ski. Cool. I really like skiing. And in the summer, there's the famous Midnight Sun baseball game. In June, it's still sunny at midnight. Wow. Sun at midnight? That sounds amazing. Yeah, it is. Also, you should definitely try to see the northern lights between August and April. I'd love to do that. That sounds so beautiful. So, that's Fairbanks. But don't forget the low temperatures. You know, Fairbanks sounds perfect. I think I should spend a month there. Well, maybe not in January. January. Okie dokie. Thank you so much. Page 95. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. I forgot. Okay, so um, tell me, is a Fairbanks a big or a small town? A big, big town. Is big. Yeah, it's somehow huge, right? It's one of the biggest. It's one of the biggest. And what about what else does Lily say about it? What else people can do there when they visit this place? 
Anybody? People love hockey. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Ice. Ice ski, right? Ice ski. Okay. What else? The ski and see the sun at midnight. Yeah, that's impressive, right? That caught my attention, like, you see? Yes. So you can have, like, light at midnight. Oh, that's <laughs> unbelievable. Yes, that's unbelievable. Yes, that's incredible. Absolutely. Here in El Salvador, <laughs> it's dark. Yeah, everywhere is dark at night. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Hey. We're going to have the grammar part on this video. I want you to take a look on this one. Listen and watch. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big. Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Yes. So, questions with how. As you may see, it's quite simple. Do you remember where to be? Yes. Uh, so, we're going to use where to be here. Mire. Here we have where to be, right? Yes, and these things. We're going to use adjectives, cold, hot, far, big, high, long, and deep. And we can have other kind of examples, other kind of adjectives, right? We have a lot of them. And at the beginning, the expression how. Yes. Um, and then a compliment. As you may see here, we're working with, uh, let's say, temperatures, uh, distance, right? Um, and that, that's why we have these, these numbers in here. I use how high to describe mountains or waterfalls. How high is Mount Fuji? Angel Fall is 9,079 meters high. And use tall to describe buildings. Oh, look at this one, right? We're going to use tall when it comes with buildings. Okay, how tall is the Empire State Building? But if we want to talk about mountains or waterfalls in here, we need to use high. Okay, on that one. Yes. Uh, the difficult part here is within these numbers. I, I can tell. 
Yeah, these numbers are not easy to read. So my suggestion in here, you need to keep practicing, okay? As much as possible. Yes? Let me show you an example, okay? And this thing with numbers is, is like, these numbers, I, I think numbers are the difficult ones when it comes to communicate those in English. Because you gotta, there is no other way to say them. You need to say them like, um, just you need to speak out by practicing, yeah? And the difficult part is that we don't see these things a lot, yeah? Maybe we can see it like once in a while, but then you must say it the correct way. Yes, let's have some, some practice. Jorge, Mauricio. Hello, Jorge. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Please read the question and then the answers, okay? Okay. Eh, todas las, las preguntas o solo una? Um, uh, let me see. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Read this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Four. The first four um, questions, please. Okay. How cold is Toronto in the winter? It gets down to minus 25 Celsius. Uh, minus 13 Fahrenheit. How hot is fire banks in the summer? It gets up to about 20 Celsius, uh, 68 Fahrenheit. How far is Toronto from fire banks? It's about 4,000. Uh, 800 kilometers, uh, 3,000 miles. How big is Seoul? It's 605 square kilometers, uh, 213.6 square miles. Thank you so much. Very good. Here we have 233. 33. 33. Exactly. And the symbol here, minus. Minus. Okay. Minus. Minus. Very good. Okay. Evers. Hello, Evers. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Continue good evening. here, please. Read the question and then the answers. Okay. How high is Mount Everest? It's one. One eight thousand one eight hundred forty eight meter meters height. Uh, twenty nine thousand twenty eight feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about three thousand seven hundred kilometers long. Two thousand three hundred miles. How deep is the Grand, Grand Canyon? It's about 1,828 meters deep, 6,000 feet. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is the way we do it, right? We're talking about the temperature in here, right? The distance, right? The height about something, right? Uh, and this is the way we do it with how, okay? Uh, you can use how with different contexts. So that means you can add different adjectives depending on the context, right? Here we have a context, but then in another context, maybe we can have a different answer, right? A different adjective. For example, when is your, birth your birthday? So somebody can ask, oh, how happy you are. Yes. How, oh, I'm sorry. How happy are you? That was Jesus Christ. How happy are you on today's birthday? Yeah. Yes. Um. Let me see another adjective. <laughs> How dirty is your room? Yes. 
That's another example. Yes. How eager are you today? Yeah. Yes. Right. Um. How happy are you right now? It's almost time to leave, so you can go and rest. Okay. <laughs> it's like when you leave work. What's your favorite part? Yeah. What's your favorite part at work? Oh, it's like when I leave. Right. That's <laughs> that's what I'm. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that tomorrow we can keep practicing on this one. Uh, a little bit uh, more details on, on this, let's say, questions with how. And I love it because we have numbers. Numbers are difficult. Numbers are difficult. Uh, these things are not like piece of cake. But with practice, yes, we overcome these things. Okay. So good night, people. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Great job and see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. You do the yeah, same. Thanks.